My name is Oshini Pilapitiya. I'm from UCS College. I did my exams in the year 2021. Uh well, at school, I was the I was appointed as the head prefect of Music College for the years 2019-2020. Academically, my A-level results definitely because I was ranked district third and island fifth in the art stream. I did economics, English literature, and Japanese. So my extracurriculars, most of them were sports activities. Uh, uh, my main sport was badminton. Uh, other than badminton, I also did athletics as well as I was in the netball team as well. I was also in the English drama circle of Museus College and we were into Shakespeare drama competitions and all of those. Since I was a very small kid, I've been into so many sports activities and extracurricular activities. So uh, it was a bag that I've been carrying for a long time, but I do not find it very heavy. I find it as my motivation to do more. But academics was definitely my priority, but I think that the sports activities, without it being an impediment for me, it was, it was the motivation for me. Because I think sports activities and the other extracurricular activities prepared me mentally to do what I had to do in academics. What I see with our generation is that they spend more time on unnecessary things and then they complain that they don't have time. I, I might sound like a grandma in, uh, many centuries ago, but I did not have a mobile phone. Even being the head prefect, I did not have my own mobile phone. And some think, how could you do this? How could you do your duties? How could you pass our messages? It's just a myth in your mind. It's just that you want to go with the trend. It does nothing like that. If you manage what you have to do, what is right, and what if you prioritize your work, I'm sure you will have enough and more time. Also, another thing which I think uh, helped me was that I stayed out of social media. Uh, even now, I don't use it much, but up until A-levels were done, I stayed out of social media. And that does not mean that I don't have connections, I am like an anti-social person, no. I had real connections with real people and I think that saved a lot of time for me. To stay out of social media or any other distractions as much as possible, not totally maybe, have fun in real life, make real connections which will help you for other things. Uh, not really because I made sure that I've covered the entire syllabus I myself made sure I went through the syllabus and I made sure that I have covered everything each and every bit that could come for the examination. So what you need, uh, even though you sometimes might not have time to do this, but you should be confident in what you have done. When I went to the exam, when I went for the A-levels and I, when I went through the questions, I felt that I'm writing this A-level paper for, for the millionth time. That is the amount of questions that we've been doing at class. And I think Kasun sir made sure that we cover the entire syllabus by doing questions. Each and every possible question that could come to the examination, I think we've done at class. So I could say that when I saw the paper, I knew that, oh, I know this answer because I've done it more than several times. Uh, while doing the paper, uh, I was focused on the questions and I think I, it just naturally came to me, the answers. It was not pressurized at all. You think when you go to your levels, you're so pressured that you, that you won't be able to give your best 100% but it will be like 75% because of the pressure and all. But for me, no. It just all the answers came for me just naturally. I felt really confident. My aim was to get 50 out of 50 for the first paper. But after the paper, I knew that I got one wrong and I was sure that one was wrong. That only that part. But other than that, for like the second paper, because I've been doing so many questions, I knew that I've done my best and everything was Okay, uh, I was not scared.
scared to sit for the exam because I've been sitting for exams given by Fasun sir for so many, so many times. It was just like another paper and I was really confident after the paper. I've been hearing this from many of my colleagues. So my friends who stayed with me and started uh, Kasunsa's classes, they dropped out uh, from like the very beginning because they told that they won't be able to, uh, he won't be able to catch up at time and all. But no, I believed in Kasunsa and I knew that he will definitely do it at the right time. And at the end, we even had more time. I believe that pace is necessary for you to understand. If you go in a rat race, I, I think that will be too much for your brain. What, uh, the pace Kasunsa went, that helped, me, uh, that helped me a lot because I was able to focus one level by one level and he made sure that whichever part we do slowly or faster, that will stay in our brain for the rest of my life. Yes, for us it was and I think we covered it like maybe three or four months before. We even had more time. Definitely yes, I would definitely recommend to each and everyone who is doing a con. Uh, definitely I would. For all the reasons, I would uh, recommend it. Any reason that you could ask me, I would say yes, it is the best class. It is not just learning, it is also fun. And also, I think it's the, uh, the way Kasun teaches us, it's not just for the examination, but for our entire life. Because I've been saying this, and I will keep on saying, what he taught us, I still can remember. I think... It is the place you should go if you are writing for your enemy. I'd say he's the best.